All right. People on Wayfire Discord saying they all got kicked. Bro, start a rumor that I got that everybody got kicked out so I could play. Start that rumor. <laughs> Just get people wound up. Okay. Uh, so we've got Wingrave, Silo, and Nis. All right. I am ready to serve. Fuck yeah. Oh yeah. We're definitely going with this. All right. Let's do it. Cinematic. Yes. We lived in an age of wonders. We wove magic into steel and shape the elements with our words. Wow. And yet, even in this golden age, there were stories of cities falling to darkness. Uh-oh. Of a force reaching from the shadows. We didn't believe them until it came for us. The beacons had always been a part of our world. Oh, that's the place I teleport to? We never to? knew who created them. Or that someday, they would return. Oh, sure. This is cool. Oh, shit. But we weren't defenseless. We must get to the beacon. That's me, bro. I'm, that's me right there. Sign up. Clear up. On it. I'm Reinhardt. There's Junkrat. Horns, anger issues. Soldier 76. Shut up and fight. Reaper. I feel like this is kind of what people wanted that I've overwatched too, you know? We're through. What now? Now, Wingrave. I look like I bought my armor set on the store. Somehow. And everybody else is free to play. I can do this. But I'll need some time. Precursor. We have to buy her some time! False one! This is vengeance for my people. Yes! I am sorry. Damn, it cut no. her in half? Just a little longer. Uh-oh. People We're getting so disenchanted. Close. You've done it. The light. Gods are dead. Your world is ours. This is cool. So they all die? Now what? Oh, okay. Oh my god, it's just it's super fast. Okay, uh, recover HP using your healing flask. Uh, five? Okay, uh... I'm pressing five. <laughs> Hmm. Uh. Oh, low on health. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Okay, so we're moving around. This is jump. Oh, there's a double jump. Okay, cool. Okay, so I can't do that. Okay, so this is a roll. What does shift do? I feel like I want to change roll to shift. So this is zooming in and out, and this is me. Oh, I actually look pretty cool. Okay. Uh, let me do one thing. I hope that they add a feature. Maybe I don't understand it, but I hope they add a feature to where I can... Uh, play my audio even though I'm tabbed out because I don't see a feature for that. Okay. All right, let's go. E for additional melee. Oh, that is cool. Okay. Take the shard. I remember. I am Harless Wingrave. I was a warrior, an Imperial Archon, 
charged to carry the light of the architect into the darkest places. That's me. And to vanquish the forces of evil. Yeah. How much time has passed? It's all vague. I remember countless enemies, cultists, monsters. Now, it seems that the Empire has been swallowed up by this darkness. That the architects themselves may have fallen. Well, that sounds bad. But their light lives on in me. Well, yeah. And I will fight to protect those who survived. All right. Praise the architects. I thought we'd lost you. We need to get you back to Skylight. There's no time to explain. You're trapped within the gloom. But with that shard, you can cut through the shadows. You must move quickly. I will guide you as best I can. Huh? All right. I can jump over that. Okay, this is cool. Movement is very good. I like the movement. Too bad. Yep. Yep, you can. Yeah. All right. Uh, you learn something new every day. Okay, that's cool. So you can actually like triple jump. Ooh. Okay, I gotta start using my combos here. Okay, so that's like a shield. Alright. F. Well, that's cool. Okay. Let's use one, two, three. Okay, or four. Can I use that? All right, cool. Uh, oh, uh, sound effects are high. I'm gonna turn it down. Audio, uh, we're gonna do, uh, uh, we're gonna put this on 0.5, okay? Okay. Camera top right, please. Uh, yeah, I'll put it up. There we go. Okay. Dodge while in the air. Oh, I see, look. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Okay, cool. It's another anchor of the gloom shadow. You must destroy it. Okay. Well, I'll just destroy it. Oh, shit. Is this the guy? No, it's just some other guy. Oh, wow. All right, let's kill his ass. Okay. Can I, hey, can I iframe something? I iframe that. A 
Okay, so that still hits me even if I have that shield up. They stole that from Diablo 4. Decent. Okay. Oh, I didn't use my ult. I forgot. Maybe I can use it on this. Destroy the anchor. I was just playing. Okay. Uh, give me a second. Uh, is there a lock on? Toggle lock on. Okay. As always, I have to play everything just the exact same as Dark Souls. Okay. All right, so maybe we should try... Guys, hey, I, I think maybe we should try another character. What do you think? Maybe we try something else? Maybe see if there's another good good character, right? Yeah, sounds like a good idea. All right, here we go. Booba where? It's going to be really soon, guys. I think that my only... Like, the only thing that I think is weird about this game is the fact that, like, you're playing a named character. Like, I think that's going to be kind of a hard sell for me to get interested in the game. And I hope they have enough cosmetics and everything. <laughs> this is probably the first time I've ever said that. I hope they have enough cosmetics in the game to where, like, I can customize my character to feel like it's my character. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Let me guess, it's going to be me. Okay, is this a can I interact with the mailbox? No, I can't even attack. Echo Matrix? Huh. Heart of Darkness. I had to read this book in high school. It is so good to see you again. I thought we'd lost you forever. Uh, Don't worry. Your memories will return. In time. That battle took place a year ago, and you were lost in the gloom. We've been trying to bring you back ever since. Let me show you. Okay. The Eldrin attack was a distraction. The beacon was always the target. When do I get we my pushed sword back? past them and found the creature who was leading the attack. 
And you did what needed to be done. You fought to the bitter end. And your sacrifice bought me the time we needed. There's so much we don't yet know about the beacon. But its power protects this city. It destroyed our enemies and stopped the gloom tear from expanding. Use your currency to buy a greatsword right away. Remind me about that as soon as we this is over. We couldn't close the gloom know that gate. Right now. But as long as the beacon remains lit, our enemies can't pass through it. And in the year that followed, we've studied it. Learned more about this gloom. Learned how to bring you back. We survived thanks to you. But the damage is done. Skylight is safe and the land around it. But beyond the highlands, reality is collapsing into the gloom. Okay. There may be other beacons, other places that repel the invaders. The only way to find out is to cut a path through the gloom. And for that, we need Wayfinders. We need you. Your sacrifice, and that of the others, bought me the time I needed to light the beacon. And the beacon's light holds the gloom at bay. It's the only reason we're alive. Why are gloom though? We still don't know. A year ago, the Eldrin attacked us and extinguished the beacon. And it was then that the gloom began to spread. It corrupts and consumes reality. The beacon protects us. But beyond its light, the gloom has swallowed the world, leaving only shadows and chaos. We don't know if anyone else has survived. That's why we need you. You survived in the gloom. You can do it again. With the tools you've been given, you can cut through its shadows. You must be a wayfinder. That's the title of the game. We still know so little about the gloom. And so much of the world has been lost to it. We need you to enter the lost zones to find a path through the shadows. You've been through an ordeal. I shouldn't burden you with this now. It's best you see what's left of Skylight and meet other Seekers. Okay. You were a Seeker once. You've just forgotten. Before the Gloomfall, we investigated ancient mysteries. Now it's the Seekers who are working to keep Skylight and its people alive. Where shall we go? Go to the Great Hall, up above the plaza. Wolf will want to meet you. We'll talk again after you've met with him and Lord Halar. Oh, there's that other guy. Okay. Uh, except quest. Alrighty. And so I'm gonna see if I can go up here and jump off and kill my character. Give me a minute. Yeah. Okay, I can't do that. But it seems like I can jump all the way off and, like, actually, uh, not a lot of fall damage yet, but we'll see what happens. Alrighty. And what's this here? Refill flasks. Okay, I guess this is probably a place where I refill my flasks. And I have to go talk to Lord uh, Haywar, who's over here. Oh, here's two other idiots. How the fuck do I get the greatsword? You guys said I can get the greatsword? How the fuck do I get it? Where is it? Where do I get it? It's on the shop. Okay. Uh, let me see what that is. Give me a second. It says I'm insufficient funds. Fuck. Okay, um... 
Well, no, I, I should have the money to buy it. Maybe it's like a bug. It's not a big deal. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Yeah, I, I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, let's talk to this guy. You're always welcome here. Companion of mine, Asley. Dagger, performing adequately 12 elements or more than power. 12 elements? It's a lot. Okay. Um, let's go to the Great Hall then. Oh, it's over here. This is the Great Hall. Landmark Skylight. Okay. Oh, wow. Can I sit down here? Is there a place? Can I sit in this chair? That's pretty good, right? Yeah, look at that. That's one great haul. Yeah, it sure is. Okay, uh, Wolf. Let's talk to Wolf. Welcome, Wayfinder. You honor us with your presence. I fought the Eldrin during the attack, just as you did. Ooh. But it was your sacrifice that saved Skylight. Saul Bordemi, who are you? Wolf. Before the fall, I was an officer of the Avar Imperium. Now I command our forces, such as they are. There are all too many threats. Shrikes, breaches. But you'll see for yourself soon enough. We will have much to discuss in the days ahead. And we'll have quarters for you soon enough. Much of Skylight was devastated in the attack. The builders are working as quickly as they can. You have more important work ahead of you. Do I have to talk to this asshole for now, again? Find Lord Halar outside of talk the Talk to him three hall. times. He'll get you ready for the tasks that lie ahead. When do I get to kill somebody? Okay, let's look around. Okay, so this guy is just... It's a girl, I think, actually. She looks pissed. Okay. What's this? Books. Can I go through this door? No. What about up here? Can I stand on this? Yes. Okay. All right. That's good. Venomness. Good to see you again. Wait, again? For sure. She's kind of hot, so it's okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow. What's this? This is like a little room. This is cozy. Can I stand in the fire? No, not like that, at least. Okay. This is a bath. Oh, wait, never mind. I don't do those. Okay. And then we've got Baldy out here looking out into the distance. Okay, let's go talk to Lord Halar. Oh, wait, 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 there's another one on the other side. Somehow I missed that. Oh, I didn't actually. Okay, never mind. Maybe I can jump over there? I don't think I was... <gasps> Fuck! Okay, never mind. All right, let's go. The new Wayfinder. Delightful. I am Lord Halar. As you know, my lands and the Dominion itself have been swallowed by the gloom. But even <laughs> now, especially now, names matter. I lead the Arcanists among the Seekers. By necessity, we have focused our efforts on restoring Skylight. But it is my studies of the gloom that can help you not my knowledge of arcanic illumination. What we know for certain is that the gloom alters flora and fauna, and never for the better. Where it lingers, it can consume entire regions, oh my leaving God. only shadows in the gloom. What we call lost zones. Okay, so we gotta go to the lost zones. You were consumed by the gloom, but you survived. Now you have the power to shape it, to some degree. The shard you've been given focuses this gift. Mm -hmm. Only a wayfinder can enter a lost zone. 
It's a good thing I this bought the game. just a glimmer of your full potential. If you can enforce your will upon the gloom, perhaps one because day I'm we a can wayfinder. undo the damage that has been done. But I can only tell you of the gloom. Omen can show you. Return to her near the gloom okay. gate, wayfinder. She will guide you in the next steps of your This journey. sounds like me actually being able to play the game. All right, awesome. <laughs> You've spoken with Wolf and Lord Halar. I am sure you have many questions. Cam's up right, please. Cam's not. The best game way move. for you to understand the gloom Cam's fine here. is to experience it for yourself. The gloom is consuming our world. Our beacon holds it at bay, but much was lost before it was lit. Beyond skylight, you will find breaches where the gloom has ripped away pieces of our world. Using the focusing shard, you can pass through breaches to reach a shadow of what was lost, what we call lost zones. These are unstable and so unpredictable. They're procedurally generated reflecting dungeons. Reflecting what was or what might have been. Okay, so we have procedurally generated dungeons that are open through um, focusing shards. Got it. That's what it seems like to me. We're running out of time. The gloom is breaking down our defenses and we don't know how to stop it. We need you to explore the Lost Zones, to find a way to fight the Gloom and reclaim our world. Okay. We do know the large gate behind me is the key. In theory, you can reach any Lost Zone through this gate. In practice, there are limitations. Usually, you must find and enter a breach directly to access a Lost Zone for the first time. After that, you can access it in any other breach you found through this gate okay but you can't just stumble into a breach you need a connection to the lost zone to guide you through it this might mean finding an object from the zone or experiencing an event tied to it okay for now i have a single connection i can share with you the codex halls of aurelian there go to the gate Follow the connection I have given you and return to the gloom. Okay. The shard you've been using is an incomplete tool. Find a codex ember in the gloom. Then we can transform your focusing shard into a full gloom dagger, allowing you to harness your full potential. Let's go. I feel like there's like uh, too many uh, proper nouns, but okay, let's do it. I'm just ready. I'm ready to kill. I'm ready to kill. I'm ready to go to war. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to die. This is a lost zone. It's not a perfect replica of the world that was. It's a dream inspired by what was lost. When you return here again, everything, the layout, the creatures within it, may change. It's procedurally generated, understood. This lost zone is tied to Aurelian. A fortress monastery of the Avar Order of the Silver Codex. The Codex monks were conducting arcane research, and we need to know more about them. Aurelian was raised by raiders from the maze years before the Gloomfall. You'll need to establish your own connection to it. Yes. It was a miracle that we could pull you back to Skylight. But like your memories, some of your skills were lost. Don't worry. It will all come back to you in time. This connection I've provided is temporary and unpredictable. Look for a Codex Ember. Mm -hmm. With it, you can turn your shard into a full Gloom Dagger and establish your own connections. I want a Gloom Greatsword. I can't guide you when you go deeper. To escape, you'll need to find the heart of this lost zone, the Anchor, and destroy it. Okay. This weakens the gloom and lets us harvest its energy through your shard. Understood. Explore as thoroughly as you can. We need the supplies and knowledge you may find, and exploration may grant you connection to other lost zones. Now go, and good luck. Can I play the game now? Yes. All right, let's go. 
Fuck you, bitch. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. What? What's in here? What I just get? Oh. Okay. Uh. Oh, I lost my spells. I understand. So like, what I just did was like a test, kind of. Of uh. Yeah, I get it now. Okay. Use E and Q. Oh yeah, yeah, my my special ability. Let me try that. What's this? Okay. I just got Silver Spectara. Memory Fragment? Oh, I, I want you guys actually to be able to read what I'm getting. I'm gonna move this down. Okay, and then so I'm getting a chest here, and like this purple thing. And then what's this? Take Codex Ember. Alright, and that allows me to keep going. And what's this? I feel like something should spawn here. Oh, it did. Okay. Alright, so let's try and use my big attack. Oh, I can't. Can I actually iframe that? Let me see if I can. I think I can. Let me try it again. Okay. Um. Oh, I, th I forgot that was. I thought it was like a tail. Okay, so how do I try the? Okay, your foes go stronger. Ambush, beam applications, gloom, open the way forward, increase the power of all the remaining mobs. Okay. Alright. Oh, what's this? Can I hit him through the wall? No. Okay. Uh, let's just open it. Hello? Who's there? Oh, wow, I got hit. Okay. So I feel like I do... Oh, I thought that was a, a bonus dick boy, but it wasn't. Okay. Ooh, a chest. All right, what's in here? Money. We love money. Okay, uh, let's see here. Okay. Bro, when do I get something, like a, a new weapon? I want a new weapon. Okay. What's this? I guess I can just look at the map and that'll tell me what's available and what's not. Okay, this looks like a boss room. Let's try this out. This is the anchor. Okay, this is the boss again. Guard break and resilience. Okay. That was it? Bro, they got annihilated. I guess I should pick these up, right? I don't know if these memory fragments have any value, but uh, I might as well loot them since I'm here. Okay. Here we go. What is this? Boom! Something new. Something interesting. I hear an echo she in the darkness. Be hot. You have promised, yes. But you don't have what I need. Not yet. Uh oh. Go ahead. Run along home. I'll be watching you. Wayfinder. Bring the code of to Lord Halar. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Expedition complete. I got a... Aspect boost. Of the Archon Inquisitor.
Okay. Understood. All right, now what? Now what? Let me do it again. I want to find another boss. Um. So okay. Uh. First impressions. Uh. The. I think the worst thing about the game so far is having the. Uh, uh, there. There's like a lot of dialogue. Right? A lot of dialogue. A lot, a lot of dialogue. I feel like I should have been able to do that within, like, way, way earlier, right? But, like, you could just click through that, right? You could just click through all that. Uh, the combat and the ability to animation cancel in the combat makes it feel pretty good. And I actually like moving around and jumping and, like, fighting in the game. Like, the the, the game is responsive, uh, etc. And, like, for me, that's, like, a huge thing. I care about that a lot. Welcome back, Wayfinder. I was sure you'd find your way. And with an ember? Good, good. Let's get to work. Okay, um... A silver codex studied ways to manipulate arcane energies. We can use the ember you recovered from Aurelian to create your gloom dagger, and to establish your own connection to the ruins. You see, the shard you claimed in the gloom is a rough and imperfect tool. You need to make it a true extension of yourself. A blade that can cut through reality. Oh, shit. Use the Echo Matrix to combine the Ember and the Shard. Visualize the shape of your dagger. You can draw on the threads of the gloom and make your vision real. Try it. Uh -huh. Okay, so I want to create a gloom dagger. And... Alright. And Codex Ember Gloom Shard, alright. And then there it is. Okay, let's do it. Simple enough, add it to inventory. And we don't need any of these. Show your dagger lord Halar. Okay. Got Perfectly it. done. Woven from the pure elements of magic and drawn into reality. Now you have what you need to explore lost zones on your own. Let's review that procedure. <laughs> to reach a lost zone, you need three things. A breach that serves as an entrance. A gloom dagger that can cut a path through the shadows and a connection to the place consumed by the gloom. You get with an item. A connection can take the form of an object, such as the ember now bound to your dagger, or something more abstract, such as a memory or experience. You now have a gloom dagger, and through the ember you have a connection to the codex halls. So, what is it you are missing, Wayfinder? Have you been listening? Ooh. Yes, just so. You need to find the point at which this area collapsed. You must search the highlands for a sheet of gloom energy. A okay. hole in the world. Highlands gloom. Once you've found it, use your dagger to carve a path. Then Explore stab it. what lies beyond and destroy the anchor Then kill of that what's shadow. in that. Thereafter, you will be able to reach Aurelian through the gloom gate here. Yep. Okay, where do I go? Where do I go? Where there I go? you are. Your gloom dagger is connected to the beacon of skylight. Aside from being an invaluable tool for exploring the gloom, it also allows us to communicate through the link. Okay, and if that's the case, I'll throw it away. A voice in the gloom? No, that wasn't me. I warned you that the connection would be unstable. Remain alert. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure it was just some manifestation of the chaos. Lord Halar and I spent much of this last year refining the daggers as we sought to retrieve you from the gloom. As for the shards, that's a tale for another time. Thank you. But now, I need you to return to the Codex Halls. We need to know more about the work of the Silver Codex. I always thought there were peaceful, devoted sages. Now, I'm not so sure. 
Our work suggests they were experimenting with a sinister force that may have been the gloom decades before the gloom fall. This work could help us push back the gloom or reconnect our world. As Lord Halar has told you, you must first find the breach tied to the Codex Halls out in the wider world. And that means leaving the safety of Skylight. Before you leave Skylight, I need you to bind your dagger to the signal fires here. This will strengthen your connection to the beacon and help you move quickly across the region. Once that's done, take the lift down to the Highlands and find Warden Haas. She's in charge of our defenses. I will offer guidance when I can. Right. Uh, let's see. So, where's the signal fire? Uh, that's it, right? Yeah, it's just like purple thing. Okay, so this is like a uh, waypoint. Map viewers, where you track your location and fast travel. Okay. So, we are right here. And then Skylight is over here. And this is, I guess, where you can make weapons and shit. And... Okay. Well, let's go over there. Can I go there? Okay, well, I'm just gonna try to go there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This looks really nice. Okay, cool. I see, so I enable with it. Okay. I get it. Okay. And let's see here. Speak toward Halar and Skylight. Well, maybe he's down below here, maybe? I'm not sure. The Engineer. Oh, this guy looks cool. Look at that. Wayfinder, please, br please bring any rare finds. Okay. Venge. Buy accessories? Oh, wow. What the fuck is this? Holy fuck. That's a lot of stuff. Character level three required to use the bracers. Okay, so like, what's my what is my gear? Loadout menu. Uh, would you like to learn how this menu works? No. Okay. Um, I don't know. How does the menu work, guys? Yeah, I I'm not sure. Okay, so then I can take my helmet on and off. Okay, that makes sense. Sure. And these are, so this is like the, uh, I, I think this is Persona. That's Transmog, character dies. Okay, so we're obviously gonna go black and red. Easiest decision of my fucking life. Okay. Remember, in League of Legends, being able to do this costs, um, uh, what was it, uh, $200. So, kind of nice, nice of them to do that. Uh, also, black and red. Actually, this is just gonna be solid black. And then Trem, we're gonna make this black as well. Oh, that actually, it's kind of fucking badass. Look at that. Okay. Um. Oh, gold. Oh shit. Oh shit. We're gonna go with that. Emissive. I don't know what the fuck this is. Okay. Um. I think maybe going with like a, I don't really think it matters that much. I think green is the one that, that shows out the most. Yeah, let's go with this. Okay, that's cool. Gloom dagger. Um, okay, I don't think this really matters. Trinkets. Uh, I don't know if this is cosmetic or not. Loading art. Who cares? Emotes, who cares? Sword and shield skin. What's this? Okay. Two-handed heavy skin. Two-handed sword skin. 
Because we don't have any of these yet. Two-handed scythe skin. Alrighty. Anything in the customized menu is cosmetic? Okay. Uh, Vanguard, Sword and Shield. So I can use a gun if I wanted to? Oh, shit. Okay. I actually think I want to change the, uh... I want to change the cosmetic for this. Yeah, we'll use the base model. Can I change the color of the weapon? It looks like I'm not able to do that. Only armor? Okay. Hopefully it'd be cool if I was able to do that. Alright, and then we have for items, uh, Inquisitor's Seal. Okay, so am I only able to equip three accessories or is it more? And then there's more customization here. Manage artifacts. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that yet. Show gear stats. Okay. Apparently weapon dies are coming next update, so they are going to add weapon dies. That's good. Abilities? Oh, shit. Okay, where well, you can learn about your abilities and apply ability upgrade points. Would you like to learn how this mission? <laughs> no! <laughs> No, I don't want to learn. I don't know how it works, though. This is dumb. How does it work? No way finishers heal Wingrave and one nearby ally. Okay, good. Um. Okay. So resilience is poise, I believe. Okay, level one. I don't think I can level this up yet. Okay. Alright. Oh, I look fucking badass now. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Okay. Who's this guy? What are you looking for? Well, I don't know. Do you want to sell me something? I guess not. Well, fuck you. Okay. Avarass. Okay, I can't open that. Wayfinder. Okay. What happens if I go down here? That is not where I want to go. Okay. What, over here? Nothing? Jump? You guys want to see me jump? Okay, I'll do it. At least I can go down just a little bit, though. Ooh. Ooh. One more, one more. Okay, so I can't even go down there at all. They said no, bro. I quit. All right, let's go. And who's this guy? Got lots of great new stock. Okay, he doesn't want to sell it to me, though. That's fine. All right. Hey. The same guy. I work here now. I live here. We got turkey. We got ribs. We got a knife. And we got, uh, we got a stick. What the hell? We got gra- Throw the grass shit out of here. Oh, we got chicken wings. All right. And what's that? That's a pineapple. Wow. Okay, what's this over here? This is nice. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, wow. I was an Imperial tax collector before the fall. I'm uh, unemployed now. <laughs> Idiot. How am I to bathe without my unicorn oils? A man's fragrance is important, you know. Fuck that guy. Okay. And also, like, if I go to buy something on the shop... Because I go to weapons, right? And then I go to this. Because I, I, I have the tickets, right? And I buy it. It says insufficient funds. So it might be because it was added later on. It's only the skin. I don't care. I just want a skin of me using a two-handed sword. Maybe I need to maybe I need to buy $150 worth of uh worth of the items and then maybe it will work. Oh, what's this? Where are we? Okay, I have to open this. You can use the two-handed sword. Yeah, I, I know. I'll, I'll get it in time. I'm not that worried about it. I will have to say that... Um, how do you guys feel about the aesthetic of the game? I, I, I really like the way this looks. I think it looks great. Very nice. Yeah, I, I really like this. Like, this is awesome. Fuck. problem is dialogue i don't even think the problem is dialogue i think the problem is just that the uh the problem is like you you you're introduced to, oh i see let me take the elevator see how this works well it works like an elevator let me see if i can take fall damage uh it seems like i can't or at least not yet it might be disabled in towns. Yeah, I think that one thing that's really kind of cool is they have, like, these little shops with a bunch of little knick-knack... Oh, shit. It's a bear. Okay. Travel to the hunt. Oh shit! Wait, wait, there's no way. This is just a cinematic, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Uh oh. Anytime that I have a loading screen, then the music stops playing. Okay, it's playing new track. Okay, I've loaded. Oh, wow. This is like a whole new area. Okay. Um. Wait. Oh, I didn't even do the quest. Do I need to go back and do that quest? I feel like I probably should, right? Like, I'm just going to go back and do the quest. Yeah, let me just go back and do it. Yes, we're in a loading screen again. What is Wayfinder? It's like my guy. He's a Wayfinder. Okay, where's Lord Haywar? Oh shit, okay, so... Am I doing what I think I just did? Yes, I am. Okay, so Lord Halar is over here, right? I thought they relocated him for the quest. All right, never mind. How are you feeling? Lum's working. Okay, we find our screech robots. Check out Bloom. Powers are on stand. Seen the flares of energy flowing from your fallen enemies. Echoes. Use your echoes. 
can only contain a certain level of energy within your form. Progress, you learn how to weave your echoes into your weapons and even your relics. Okay, all right, let's try and do this. Use Echo Matrix. Okay, so how do I do it? Is that it? Buy them? I can't. You did it? Okay. All right, let's go. Oh, so I guess I can just actually teleport right over to here, right? Okay. Now we'll go to the new area. How's the movement feel? I think the movement and the combat and the responsiveness are the best thing about the game, which for me is a really important thing and it matters a lot. Uh, I think the, the, the only thing that's like really annoyed me so far is that uh, I personally like being able to get out of bounds in games. I feel like it makes it more interesting and like kind of more, it feels like more of an open world whenever you can like get out of bounds. And so it was like kind of annoying that like if I jumped down somewhere, I would just get uh, like killed. Um, but other than that, I, I like that. Yeah, the exploration of it is cool. Um, I think the graphics and, like, the style of the game, like, this stuff is, like, super cool. Uh, I really like the way this looks. Um, I, I think, like, the city, for example, and, like, the amount of detail that's put into, you know, the... Like, th th just th this bullshit here, right? I think it's really impressive. Uh, I like it a lot. Like, whenever I was thinking of, like, for example, like, the Riot MMO, I was kind of expecting it to be done in a style very similar to this. So I, I really like the style of the game. Uh, the You know, it's kind of like Fortnite, more like, you know, high saturation, like colors, like deep colors. Like, I, I actually kind of like that. And, um, you know, it would be cool if more of these things were interactable, etc. Um, I miss the gladiator matches. Yeah. Okay. Um... But yeah, like the amount of uh, like just little bits of shit that's all over the world, I think is good. Uh, I, I would say like the only part of this that is well met, Wayfinder. Welcome back to the world. What's left of it? It's an ugly business. We're fighting the Shrikes for resources, and out beyond, you've got feral beasts and gloom spawned monsters. What's a Shrike? You'll find out soon enough, I fear. Brigands and looters. Some of them half feral from drinking God's blood and other madness. Dangerous is what they are. But what's your business here? Looking for the breach? I'm no wayfinder, but I know it. Head out past the foundry and through the ruined gate walls. Once you get to the swamp, look for the large gnarled tree and weathered steps. Be sure to bind your dagger to the signal fire here. Oh yeah. You'll find them across the highlands. Never miss an opportunity to forge a connection. Okay. Do I Again, I'm no not add that? Yeah. I've heard they're connected to the beacon, and each connection strengthens its light. Yeah, for me, As like, I'm finder, very much a gameplay Andy. Move between right? the fires. You'll find it a useful tool. So anytime they start talking about, like, what happened a hundred years ago for, like, context of, like, why the clerics could be bad, I'm like, okay, so where's the dragon to kill? That's nice. Okay, Winnie... How long is this going to go on for? Do I have time to go get a drink? You know, right? Don't really give a shit about that. Um, however, um... On your way, then. But yeah, Skylight needs supplies, and it's getting harder and harder to find them. I know you've got your mission, but if you can kill a worm or scare off some shrikes, we need the help. Okay, so I have to kill worms. As a wayfinder... You alone can try the path of the gloom, but you possess powers and skills beyond those of the Watchers and Rangers. 
and we must all stand together if any of us are to survive. Many will ask for your help, and I hope you will assist those in need. But it's up to you to prioritize those requests, and to use your time wisely. Right now, I need you to return to the Codex Halls and get to the bottom of a mystery. We'll discuss it further once you're inside the ruins. Okay. Um, let's see here. Okay. Yeah, I, I would wish that there was, like, a... a better, uh combination oh let me pick up her quest uh so true i agree all right let's go do it i'm gonna do this one first is this what i think it is it probably is but i did it wrong is there something i need to press in order to do that Press F on it, didn't work. You have to stand still and press F. Okay, got it, I'll try it again. I see. Cool. Are these bad boys? Oh fuck, they are. Okay. Okay. Do you, do you do back attacks in this game? I don't think you do. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh, I actually had to do that. Can I destroy this barrel? No. Okay. Try pressing E for shield attacks. Okay. I don't know if it does that much damage, man. That's all right. I just don't really know if it's worth it. Don't hold it. Just spam it. Okay, let me try it. Oh, actually, you can't really tell how much stamina damage it does because these, these, aren't, uh, these don't have stamina. Okay. I'm trying to see if there's anything I can get up there. No, I don't think so. Charge E as a guard break? Yeah, I'm starting to understand that. Okay, so now we're in, like, this is the bad boy zone. Okay. Okay. So, if I hold this now... Okay. That's a bug. Um, okay, got him. It'd be cool if the game had back attacks. I would like the, you know, positionals. Because, like, usually I don't like that in games, but because the combat in this game feels pretty good, it makes me, like, kind of wish that it had that. Because I think that positional attacks feel really good to be able to do, uh, but only whenever the game is, like, extremely responsive. Okay, so how do I dodge this? Okay, I'm kind of understanding this. Well, I didn't know if it was like an actual projectile to dodge, or it was just a, um... 
Uh, it was something else. Okay. Okay, I just got boss music. What's this? Is it that guy? Is this a bad guy or a good guy? Dr. Booba T. Okay, that's a player. I guarantee you that's a fucking player. Okay. Okay, so... Well, we gotta figure out what the hell he's doing different. Okay. I'm just trying to test out some of this combat to see exactly how this works. Okay, recover supplies. All right, good. And these are F. Okay, so I guess these green things... Oh, no, the green things are players. Okay, he was just near the, the thing. All right. You have a weapon ability? Uh, do I? Okay, what's over here? you. Okay. I'm gonna go over towards here, man. I'm gonna see how far I can get over to this. Okay, oh, these guys are level four. I wonder how much experience I'm getting. Bro, really? This goat is out for blood? Okay. And where's my map? Okay, so these are... Are, are these different... Uh, can I mark something on the map? Zoom in, zoom out. Seems like I can't. Okay, let's go... Yeah, it's this way. Collision is like kind of it's it's hard to predict. All right, level three. Wait, I just leveled up. How the fuck did I level up there? Okay. Um. All clear. Well, I guess I should go do the other one then. In, in that case, yeah, I'll go over to there. What's this? Okay. Good. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, now we're getting into some real fucking combat. All right, let's go. On. The lock-on feels kind of weird. Okay, good. All right, so... Oh, I, I need to actually get that other unlock. Let me do that now. 
Uh, where is it? It's over there. Yeah, I'm gonna go get it right now. Does this game have mounts? I feel like I'm not getting a lot of experience. Upgrades ready. Okay, character. Where do I upgrade? Oh, abilities. Okay, choose an ability to unlock. Judgment. Uh, I think we should get lifesteal. I feel like lifesteal is better. Yeah, lifesteal is, is better, and it also, um... Definitely judgment? Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about that. So that's three. Oh, I see. So, if I get all my points into that, it makes it do more damage. I'm still trying to understand how to level up. What the hell is that? What the hell is this? Oh, what's this? Okay. Okay, so now I've got all of these, and I'm oh my god, bro, I'm... Okay. Can I damage this for now? Okay, so now what? The Dark Star becomes vulnerable. Okay, let's kill the ass. I don't know if I'm doing damage to it. I wish it would tell me. Oh, you know what? I should kill these other guys. I didn't see that other one as a mistake. Jesus, I didn't see that either. Okay. Okay. So he was doing an attack. I guess I just didn't see the attack. Okay. Let me go back over there and see if I can still... So can I still finish this event even though I got killed? Seen it coming? I, I didn't see the attack. I, I was thinking about something else. Okay, heal with five? I just didn't think of it. Okay, here we go. Okay. Alright, not too bad. Okay, now what? What the fuck is the sound of that? What the fuck, bro? This is not looking good. All right, all right, we just do one at a time. It's not a big deal. Okay, I got a fucking clutch level up there. I should have done the other one first. Shit. Dodge that. Okay. Okay, get out of that. Got it. Okay, dodge 
that. Dodge this. Jesus, bro. Oh. All right, try it again. Five? I didn't think of it. Okay. So now what happens? Can I finish this? Those guys are level seven, by the way. Are they? Oh, they're skull level. I see. Yeah, I think maybe zooming in the mobs like that really is going to help out a lot. Oh, we got it. Wait. Oh, we didn't get it. Okay. Never mind. We failed. That's okay. I was really slow on that one. I died twice. So it's not a surprise that I fucked that one up. And also, they were way higher level. I'm still trying to get used to the combat, so mistakes are going to happen. Okay, we've killed those guys already. And now I guess we should try to unlock this. Okay. Then we have a taunt effect before they, the shrine. Yeah, probably a group effort. Oh, yeah, yeah, I didn't get level four. Do I have an upgrade yet? Character, abilities. Uh, three, five, or nine. Okay. So I get a level next time. Okay. Um, I guess I need to go over there. I don't even know how to get over there. Um, I guess I'll just figure it out. You have Wayfinder levels and weapon levels. You leveled up your weapon back there? My weapon. Um, let's see here. Character, Vanguard. Uh, uh, cycle page. Echo capacity. Empty echo. I don't know how that works. You see one of those bubbles and other players fires, uh, other players fighting, absolutely join in. Yeah, uh, I've just been trying to figure out like what to do. Yeah, these monsters are a lot fucking easier. Okay. Um. Oh, this is it. Okay, good. And so it's like, so how much do I level up now? Okay, so it, it's a not a lot. previous expedition discovered unnatural deadly it's spiders a good in the shadows of Aurelia. Lord Halar believes these aren't spontaneous creations of the gloom. They're tied to the Silver Codex's work. Did the Codex somehow harness the gloom decades before the fall and use it to cause mutations? We need answers. Search for spiders and see what you can find. Spiders? You aren't the only wayfinder. You'll meet the others eventually. Now go. There's work to be done. Right. Okay, so I can't do that. Don't do that. Oh, what's this? All? Okay, never mind. Alright. That's cool. I'm not sure what memory fragments do. Oh, 
Oh wow, I can go all the way back over there. You're trying to log in since launch? Yeah, a lot of people were really, like, most of the people I think that probably rated it down on Steam probably didn't even play it. Which is like, again, it's fair, right? I mean, if you can't play the fucking game, you're gonna be pissed, right? I get it, but, uh, I'm not sure really. I, I feel like the gameplay is... I think it's pretty good. Let's see. So can I go over here? Okay. Um... More memory fragments under here. All right, now let's actually go and do the uh, do the map here. Okay. social ability. Yeah, uh, I'm sure that'll probably fix itself. A lot of people voted it down because of the cash shop also. I mean, I get that. Oh, what's this? Uh, I guess probably because I'm in voice chat with them. Which got fixed? Yeah, I think it fixed. Epic Gamer 76. Okay, bro. It's me and you. Let's do it. Oh, he's a PlayStation gamer. I think he does more damage than I do. I'm pretty sure he does. How the fuck did he do that? How the fuck did he do that? I... I... I, I don't understand. Okay, he's like, all right, you suck. Just fucking let's go. All right, let's go. Okay. Let's get this. Oh, we have to do this. Yeah, yeah, it's got like a little thing there. Okay. Um... Okay, I understand that. And is this... What the fuck? Oh, it's some bad boys here. Okay. Okay, so what's this fire thing? Got him. Okay, so what's this? Take journal. Accept quest. Nice. Oh, let me go loot this too. Oh, bro, Epic Gamer is just... Bro, he's Epic Gaming. What the fuck?
Oh wow. In case you can destroy these. Alrighty, and then we'll see what's in here. What's in the box? Bloomstone shards. Oh, we have to kill them. Okay. Let's go, Epic Gamer. What are these crawly boys doing? Ooh. It's like poison. Nice. Critical attack. your path forward oh oh oops hey hey um uh oop, I, I it's my bad man my bad yeah, sorry about that That. Cool. Catch and defeat the loot goblin. Where is he? Is this? Oh my fucking god! There he is. Bro, where's Epic Gamer? Bro. Bro, run, run, run. Nice, nice, nice. There we fucking go. Nice fucking job, bro. There it is. Gem of Avaras and Greed Imbuement. Okay. Alright, that's the end of the dungeon over there. It's, the, it's that purple thing. Okay, so what's this? It's a lot, so it doesn't matter what it is. Okay. Alrighty. Oh. Wait, did he did he do it? Destroy crystal webbing and Aurelian. Oh fuck, I missed that one. Got it. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, what's this? Maybe that's underneath? No. I think we have to go. Get the ass! Good job, bro. That was an epic gamer moment. Okay. Nice, you killed him before he did the cast. Oh, bro, let's go up here. Oh, he's a hacker. He's like 4chan. Okay, he's dead. Oh, wait, did, I, did he drop anything? No. Okay. Okay, not yet. Nice. Okay, this is the other thing that we have to unlock, right? No, no, it's just a quest. Okay. Big money. I feel like we did everything here. There we go. 
Good job. Let's beat this boss. Okay, so they, they blow up whenever they die. I wasn't sure about that. That's it? That's it? That's it, we're the other mob. I'm ready to go to war, I'm ready to kill. I'm ready for a fucking boss, let's go. I mean, you don't know unless you try. Nice, bro. Like, it's me and you, man. Okay, what we get for loot? All right. Uh, items. Bracer of memories. Wretch Echo. Stats. You're making all PC gamers look like fools in front of the console gamer? Bro, he's a console gamer. He probably didn't even, he probably thought I was an AI. He probably didn't even know I was a real player. Uh, he might have not even had his TV turned on. You know, like, it's a console gamer, man. What do you expect? Okay, so how do I get around here? Um, you got a weapon part? Yeah, I did. Uh, what is that? So can I equip these? Oh shit! I got a. I, I can get a sack lunch. Okay, so we're gonna obviously equip this ring here because it gives me weapon power, and then we're also gonna put on. Uh, I think I'm gonna put my sack on. Yeah, let's put the sack on as well, and then this is good to go. That's good. Styles good. Echoes. Will you socket creature echoes in your equipment? And see your active equipment for bonuses. Would you like to learn how this menu works? No. Um, okay, so let's figure out how this works. Herald Echo. Oh, um. Inconficient, inconficient capacity. Okay, let me, so how does this work? Uh, Unequip Echo. Okay, so 12 is the maximum that I can have. Is that right? And so if I have this, it's too much. Okay. So, weapon power 114. Okay. Well, we want to have weapon power because that gives my weapon more power. So, kind of an easy decision there, really. Okay. And then, what about uh, this? Oh, I see. Okay, and we're also going to go with that, too. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen to me. No, bro, that shit doesn't happen. It happens to other people, bro. That does not happen to me. It does not happen to me. That happens to other people. It happens to other people, bro. There's no way that shit happens to me. Bro. Bro, I don't want to hear about it. Nope. Nope, I don't want to fucking hear about it. There's no way I hit the queue. Literally no way I hit the queue. No way I hit the fucking queue. Okay, I think we should watch one of the video essays about why this game's bad. Or about you can log back in and then game is off, right? It's like you can log back in and then game is off. Like, 
I have no problem shitting on things and I will do it constantly. Predatory is the right word. People just need to be not dumb prey. I don't think that, like, at that point, is anything that's priced above what you determine to be too expensive predatory? At that point, you just, you, uh, you cast such a wide net with the term predatory that it doesn't mean anything because it can be applied to anything in any situation. And that's why I think it's bad to use the term that way. Oh, we got more people out here. It's because it, it, it devalues what, uh... Did I get all these? Yeah, I did. I should probably go over there and get this one, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go turn in this quest. Um... I'm going to use this just because I think it'll be cooler. Oh, should I try this again? No, no, I don't think I'm high enough level. Gas prices are predatory because of Sleepy Joe. Gas prices are also a mandatory thing. Of course, increasing the price of something like insulin would be very different than increasing the price of a video game cosmetic. Do you really think those two things are the same? It's because a person needs insulin and they don't need a skin. How the fuck can anybody be so stupid to think that's not the case? Holy fuck, some people are so delusional. This is why gaming is bad. It's because, like, there's two extremes. There's fanboys and fucktards. And fucktards like this go around and start explaining, Oh, no! No, this is- this- no, it's actually bad. I'm being preyed upon because the price of the- of the skin is high. Get the fuck out of here. Learn some self-control. Such a ridiculous fucking thing to say. I fucking hate these people. Let's do this. I don't need to pad out time anymore with anything. We don't need to rant anymore. Children need dopamine. That's why cosmetics are like that. Okay, so let me read this real quick. Children need dopamine and cosmetics and video games is that. That's why it's predatory. But like I said, don't be prey. No, it's not. There's nothing that's predatory about dopamine in the same way that anything else providing rewards is, is predatory. Then video games would fundamentally be predatory. Being able to buy video games. Don't, don't tell me that dopamine is somehow, oh, we're preying on people because we're giving them dopamine by letting them buy a fucking cosmetic. That's the most delusional, dumb fuck thing I've ever heard. What? I, it's, it's just so fucking stupid. I can't believe it. Is sugar predatory? Is playing a video game in general predatory because it rewards you whenever you win and you get dopamine whenever you win? What the fuck is the logic of this? One moment, oh fuck, he's talking. I need to balance the arcanic pressure in this file. There. Now, what have you brought for me? Okay. Yes. Yes. These creatures were altered with arcanic power. Shadow, certainly. Perhaps a hint of chaos. But this isn't the random work of the gloom. This shows intention. The Codex were monks of the Imperium. They couldn't have done this. Even if they knew how, working with the element of shadow is anathema in the Avar faith. I must know more. Wayfinder. You must find the source of this. But to do so, we must accelerate your training. You must learn to shape the gloom. All right, all right, we're, the we're gloom like... is a maelstrom of shadows and chaos. Anchors pull together visions of what might have been. Fragments of the whole. And when you leap in blindly, an anchor pulls you in. So he says there's a literary set called study show dopamine hits from cosmetics and loot boxes create addiction in children. It's not like it's not a thing. Okay, sure. But we're not talking about, we're not, no, you said cosmetics and loot boxes. I guarantee to you that the study you're talking about is talking about loot boxes and not cosmetics. Because if you're using cosmetics, then how do you distinguish between cosmetics that are earned in game and cosmetics that are bought from a fucking store? Because from that, if, if you build the foundation of your argument that the 
have getting a cosmetic or getting a reward in a video game is predatory because it can make people addicted to dopamine then wouldn't every video game be fundamentally predatory therefore making the entire conversation invalid and also wouldn't the marketing of the video game be predatory as well because by marketing a video game it is trying to get people to do something that they would not otherwise normally do therefore trying to alter their action and make them do something that's beneficial towards the marketer therefore preying on their mind so at this level of logic this can be applied to literally everything in literally every circumstance and your complete argument doesn't make any fucking sense and I am so tired of people over overusing these words because they simply do not like something. If you do not like something, that is fine. But don't go and overuse words that we need to have in order to categorize things like loot boxes and gambling just because you're unhappy that a cosmetic is in a store. Don't go and use those words just because you're not happy. There is no logic to it and it immediately falls apart as soon as you realize you compare it to anything else. It is pathetic. It's so fucking annoying for me to hear that constantly. But you can do more than this. With your dagger, you can cut through the chaos and carve a direct path. You can hunt down an enemy, strike a specific foe. Pretend the sales department isn't banking on the fact that kids will have access to the parents' payment info is willful ignorance, though. Okay, you can make that argument with even advertising the game, right? So like if the kids had access to the parents info, couldn't you make the argument that advertising the game is also the same thing? So by advertising a game, you're also doing the exact same thing? Okay, so then advertising every video game is predatory and so okay, every every video game is predatory, every reward in a video game is predatory, every item in a cash shop is predatory. Every type of marketing is predatory. Everything's predatory. Okay, great. These webs hold traces of a greater threat. I can isolate its spore. I can give you what you need to hunt. But you are not fully prepared. You must meet the other seekers. Each has something you need. Tools you can use. Arsenal can arm you. The engineer can give you strength. Venge finds treasures in the rubble, and Omen is the wisest of all. Go, speak to them. Okay, who's fuck is Omen? Uh, rewards, okay. Great, let's go. Who the fuck is Omen? Let's go. You get your greatsword now? So I deserve it. I see a wayfinder, newborn from the void. Uh -uh, sell me the weapon. You are Skylight's fist, child, and I am the weapon master. I am Arsenal, and I can place steel in your hands. I already have a weapon. You need a weapon worthy of a legend. Eclipse, the Titan's Bane. Hmm. I know many weapons you might wield, but all have been swallowed by the gloom. Last, but not forever. We drew you forth from the gloom when you were lost. You can do the same now. You can call an echo of a legendary weapon from the void. And you can make it real. Okay. It is no simple thing to find a weapon in the gloom and master it, but I know them all. I can tell you what you need to gather. And together, we will see you armed with a weapon worthy of you. Give me the fucking sword. Oh, weapon crafting. What's this? Okay, so I don't care about... Ooh, er, er, er. I want this one. I want this. I want to make this. Okay, I want this. Okay, I want this. Okay, I want the sword. I want the big sword. Where's the big... Ooh, this is a bigger sword. Look at that. Wow. I'll be right back. I take a piss. Why do I fucking make this piece of shit? 
There's one car make. I wanna make that one. I don't want the fucking dagger. That's a piece of shit. I don't want that. A gun. Tree Spirit's Bane. Hmm. So how the fuck do I make this, man? Uh... Okay, I can't craft anything. Okay. Buy. Oh, 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 oh. Typhon. Look at that. I'm gonna buy this shit. Hmm. Okay, and then echo capacity. Oh, wow. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. Okay. Got it. Ha! <laughs> A new wayfinder. Delightful, delightful! I'm Benz, and you need what I have, for I have what you need! Whatever that may be. A potion? A poem? What is it now? Good. Good! <laughs> it's hard to get supplies in what's left of the world, but my friends and I comb the broken pieces and find those things you need! I'll, I'll be here when you know what that is. I hope they uh, paid this voice actor a while. That's good. Alright, what are you fucking best for? We shit muscle from Google. Okay. Hmm, I can make this. Okay. I don't think it's really worth making one of these. Uh, I, I might as well, you guys want to just make one anyway? Just to see what happens? What do you guys think? Not yet? Okay. Mm. Mm. You are newly returned, yes? You may find my appearance unsettling. Yeah. But trust me. No one knows more about the interaction of magic and metal than I. There is power within you. Accessories will help you focus that power. Their gifts may seem slight, but even the slightest breeze can turn the tide. The greatest accessories cannot simply be crafted. But you, Wayfinder, you can reach within the gloom and pull forth the echo of such a relic. You can dream of a lost legend and make it real. Very cool. All power has a price. There are things you must find before I can help you. But in the days ahead, you and I will make wondrous things. Okay. I gotta talk to old men.
an idiot. He doesn't know he can die his armor. Oh, wait. Oh, he did die his armor. Never mind. He's not an idiot. As you know, you weren't the only hero lost to the gloom. We both lost friends on the day of the fall. But they may not be lost forever. It's not easy to pull a wayfinder from the gloom. We need to find the echoes of the hero and use the beacon to create a path they can follow. But together, we can bring them back. There are things I need you to find. Elements of power. Traces of our fallen champions. We need to remember who they were so we can find them in the darkness. We need more wayfinders if we are to survive. Continue your work with Lord Halar, my friend. But be ever watchful for the traces that we need. When do I get to use the axe? My work has been successful. I've drawn the essence from the webs and found the traces of their maker. The brood mother who spawned these foul things. Oh, cool. But before you reach her, you must craft a gloom trace and use it on the gloom gate. I will provide the materials you need this once. But in the future, you will need to find them yourself. Got once it. made... The gloom trace will guide you directly to your prey. I hope you took advantage of what our seekers have to offer. I fear you will need all the help you can get. Okay. Um. I believe we may be able to use these gloom traces to target specific foes in the future, if needed. Craft the gloom trace and then go to the gate. The gloom trace will guide you to your foe. We need to know what the Codex was doing. This broodmother may hold the answer. Good luck. All right. Oh, it's a new one. Okay. Uh, Vernon Spector. Oh, bro, I could have made that myself. Yeah, I, I could have made. I could have made that. What's he acting like he's doing me a favor for? I could have done that myself. Basically, yeah. you follow the gloom trace to get the gloom key to open the gloom gate? Yeah. Travel beyond. Okay, is this it? Broodmother. Uh, I'm going to turn off matchmaking. I want to do this myself. Okay. Uh, recommend a party three people. I'm going to solo this bitch. I'm just going to solo her. Big dick. Doing like how you find the game so far? I had to take a 30 minute break because I got DC'd. I got put back in the queue, which sucked dick. But besides that, it's been fine. Uh, this is like a MMO. Oh my god! Well then. Don't shoot. The I don't want to talk to you. Okay. Do I need to open all of these or not? Like, interact with all of these? Oh, shit. Let's go. I actually probably should have gotten... Oh, I thought I was out of that. OK. 
Okay, uh, am, am I stunned or something? I really probably shouldn't. How did that hit me? Oh, here we go, here we go. Big dicking time. Let's go. Massive fucking damage. Nice. Run out. I'm assuming? Yeah. Okay. So I can't really iframe that, I guess. Okay. Yeah, it, it's kind of a... There we go. Okay, good. I'm gonna kill these real quick. Do I have a secondary attack? Looks like I don't. Okay, now what? Okay, that's good. Okay, now what? Oh, fuck. I don't have to deal with it with this, right? How? I'm about to have to leave a Steam review. I'm about we we about to we about to go. <laughs> we about to have to leave a review on Steam. This early access game is not ready. If I hit the queue again, um, uh, if it's more than like probably five thousand, I might I might stop for tonight. Uh, I'm not sure yet. So, like, can you play Skeleton Mages in PoE this season? I was going to say, Gary, like, he's going to increase the viewership of all media. Like, this dude is walking in. He fucking walks into the building, he says, I already own the place. Everybody else that's fucking looking to get hired, it's just looking to be, you know, for me. It's probably like, who gets hired to get to have me as their boss? Okay, yo, let's try this. This is this actually the last shot? All right, let's kill the spider. The enemy gave me 20% disability for destroying my ankle. Oh, because you have five legs, right? That makes sense. Because like, only one of them's messed up. Yeah, true. <laughs> All right, y'all ready? Let's do it. Let's get a work. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I, I, I did matchmaking. I didn't want to do matchmaking. Not great sword. I haven't been able to craft one yet. I think it gloomed out of my mind. Yeah. It's glooming time. Yeah. 
All right, here we go. What's this different color? All right, boys. Is there a walk feature here? All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Right, let's go. Maybe actually I should probably save that. Where are you going? Ah, oh, fuck. There it is. There it is. Can I kill these before they spawn? I, I can, but it's not really worth it. Ooh, what's up, bitch? Boom. 300. Oh, you guys see, I'm figuring it out. Where he going? Where he going? Big dick. Right there, 600. Okay, another ad face. Let's go, let's get the ads. Where they at? What's up, pussy? Why can't I not do the big attack? Okay. Damn. Why can I not do one? Oh, it's just broken. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't realize that was gonna happen. Okay. Got it. Okay. How are they not dead after that? Okay, here we go. Ooh, that's my fault. There it is. Big hit. Bro, that felt good. That was a good fight. Yeah, that was good. Leave the gloom. 
trickster key. Oh, wow. What's this? Uh, losing happy guard break meter, damage shield. That's pretty good for a tank. I, I, I was yeah, I was gloomed out of my mind. Yeah, I think that was fun. Jumping attacks with right mouse button are fun. I haven't done that. Wonder why the game has mostly negative reviews on Steam? Because people aren't reviewing the game; they're reviewing the 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 Q screen. I mean, because like a login screen, right? I mean, there's like you can't even level up in the login screen. You can't uh, open a menu in the login screen. You can't do shit in the login. There's like no bosses in the login screen except for the login screen. Yeah, I'll update my review whenever they update the server. I'm sure everybody else will do the same thing. All right, so now what do we do? Can I just play the fucking game? All right, now what? Uh, it's just, I hate this dude. I actually hate him. The stone. Because he yes. just talks, man. Yes. If this is what I think it is, well, it could change everything. The facets, the fragments, glimmers of gloom and chaotic currents. G give me a moment to study it. The stone that you found in this brood mother, it's a sort of a, it, elemental lens, a tool designed to shape the gloom itself. The gloom is a myriad of possibilities, and this stone. How can I explain it? Don't. The gloom oh. is fundamentally unstable, Wayfinder. It's said that the celestial architects shaped our world from primordial chaos. I believe that the gloom may be that primal maelstrom. The stone lets you shift between myriad potential realities. But how to use it? It's going to take a surge of elemental power, yes. Perhaps your dagger, certainly. How convenient. I've treated the Myrian stone. Take it to the Echo Matrix and fuse it to your dagger. Let's see what comes of it. Okay. Pumat mirrored stone, okay. Okay, done. I probably need to learn how to use these. Bring your Argonne Dagger to Omen, okay? Let us see. Oh, yes. This is a fascinating tool. I can smooth out the connection. Lord Halar is a brilliant Arcanist, but he doesn't understand what you truly are. I should have told you sooner, but I didn't know how to say it. You see, my friend, you didn't survive our battle against the Eldren. You gave your life to save Skylight. So I died. You perished and were consumed by the gloom. For anyone else, that would have been the end. But you refused to let go. You lingered as an echo, holding on until I found you and sent the shard. I gave you the tool you needed, but you imposed your will upon the gloom. You rebuilt your body, and you can do it again if you fall in battle. And I believe that's only the beginning. So I can respawn? Yeah. It's the dagger a, I know, I'm playing a video game. I know now that. Now bound to the stone, I believe you will be able to shape the gloom in ways we've never seen. I'm sure it will take time. But this could be the key to our salvation. Our architects have fallen. Our world is collapsing into the gloom. But if we can master this power, Wayfinder, we may be able to build it anew. Okay, so... This may seem like madness, but consider your missing memories, the skills you've had to relearn. You're an echo of my fallen friend, but I believe you've kept the best of them. You can shape the gloom, 
It's how you craft your weapons, how you return from defeat, how you bind the echoes of your enemies to gain strength. Now you can shape the gloom itself. You'll need to imbue your dagger with concentrated elemental energy. When you cut a path into the gloom, that energy should reshape the lost zone, creating a unique layer of reality. I have a charge of elemental shadows. Imbue your dagger with this power and enter the Codex Halls. Let us see what you can- Okay, all right, so let's go imbue this fucking dagger. Uh, let's talk to- Oh, fuck, he's got something he wants me to do, tracing the past. Yeah, 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 true, I agree. That's one way to look at it, yeah, definitely. Okay, uh, is this an imbuement here? Uh, fuck. So, do I imbue it now, or later? Using shadow imbue- oh, I have to do shadow imbuement. Already there. Okay. Make sure I got this shit, uh, locked in. Uh, where's his echoes, abilities... Oh, I wanna get this locked in. Um... Weapon power, we're gonna put that in, and we're also gonna put in, uh, Max Health, Herald Echo, this is this one here. Okay, abilities, okay, this is good. Uh, style inventory, maybe? Imbuements? Oh, I actually had two of them, okay, well, whatever. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Okay, so put this in. Let's do it. It's giddy. Gloom touched. All enemies have been empowered by the gloom. At half health, they will enrage and start glooming and deal more gloom damage. When enemies die, they will explode into a deadly burst of gloom. All right. Is it glooming time? It is. Let's go. Imbued chalice. Viewment. Uh, do I do this? Do I do this or not? No? Okay. Power rating's been synced to 275, so I got nerfed. Cool. Alright. Where to loot at? What's up, pussy? Get the fuck out of here. Fuck you. Ooh, where to loot? Oh, fuck. Oh, God, bro. Why is it so hard? Hopefully they don't make any that are harder than that. That one's really difficult. What's this? Nothing? Okay. Damn, bro, this shit's bright. Let's go this one.
Okay. I got that, didn't I? What's this shit? Oh, wow. That's a big boy, huh? I don't know where to go first. I guess we'll go this way first. want to get the great sword and try that out too see which weapon is best event click the ball oh okay thanks the terminal has been activated this is gonna like i'm gonna have to fight this yeah That's it? That was a joke, man. That was the easiest event of my life. over here. Oh. Oh. Oh, bro. We up. We really out here. I, I didn't know if that was going to work or not. This is actually pretty cool, man. Shit! Okay. Started from the bottom. Well, actually, no, we didn't. I was about to say. Yeah, we didn't start from the bottom. Oh, shit. Okay, so now we know where that's from. I'm gonna go down here first. I love how running through it, uh, I love how running through this like a crackhead is actually the best option. You know you can break through this shit. Nothing over here. Oh, I should have known that. Okay. I want to see if I could, like, jump out of that quick enough. But apparently not. I always have to try everything, bro. Let's see what's over here. There's, like, a way to get through this? How the fuck do you get through this? I, I don't know. Okay, let's turn around. I want to do the other area before I go back down there.
Book of the Even Tide. get the treasure out of the chat. I feel like you should get mimic treasure if you if you kill a mimic, man. Oh, it's so sad. Okay, what's this? Um, I guess we'll go up first and then we'll go down. Okay. Might as well. Alright, now now we get to have some fun. He's looking like a big boy over here. Bro, I killed that in, in that fast? Oh my god. I'm big dicking him? Yeah. Okay. What's up? What's up? How? Um, let's see. Let's do a little logic here. Um, probably something with this, this thing since it's the same color. Maybe if I unlock this. No. Okay, let's try to go stand on this or something like that. Can I open this? Understanding this. So, do I have to line all these? Okay. Maybe, because these will all be aligned? Is 
There's a sheet. Where is it? What, what am I supposed to do? Cross blind? Yeah, I just I don't know what to do. I don't care. I hate this stuff. What, what do I do? Align the balls with the outlines? Oh, okay. Uh... Is that close enough or not? I hit the wrong button. Just getting destroyed. All right, I better get something real good for this. Like, I'm talking about real, real good. pretty good. Okay. I'll take it. We're glooming. Now let's go with this boss. do it with one jump. I couldn't. Where? Where they at? There they at.
Gotcha, bitch. Okay. Hopefully we get another boss in here. Let's do it. Nice. the easiest boss I've ever done in my entire life. Yeah, he got, he was getting glooming on. True. All right. Let's do it. Now what? Boom, bitch. See ya. All right. Nice. Pure black jewel. That's okay. Exit the gloom. That one took me a while, too. The six to nine year old? No, the six to nine was referring to the amount of people that can play the game without it crashing. Okay, Typhoon. What's his character? Um, cycle page. Okay. I think I kind of understand now. Alright. the fuck is this venomness? the fuck is venom? What the fuck? Wait, what? How can I have two characters equipped at the same time? Oh, I see. It's just a bug. Okay, got it. Shadow is the strongest element within the gloom, but I've never seen it as strong as in this zone. It proves the gloom can be manipulated. Making shadows deeper may not help us, but it's a beginning. Experiment with other imbuements. We need to see what's possible. Beyond that, 
It shows that the Silver Codex was manipulating the gloom in Aurelian decades before the fall. Their work may hold the answers we need. I... seen these before. The monks you... It seems this work was done deeper in Aurelian, in what Azarin calls the Undercroft. But only those who passed the trial of lingering light could enter the Undercroft. And he never did. We've never found a path beyond the Codex Halls. But if you could complete this trial, it might give you a connection to the Undercroft. We have to know what they were doing there. It surely exists somewhere in the echoes of the Codex Halls. There must be some record of it somewhere. I wish there was another option. But I'm afraid I know what you must do. Since the Gloomfall, we've had to put our pasts behind us. Wolf and the Huntmaster were once bitter enemies. But in the face of the Gloom, we have to work together. So it is with Kestrel and I. She's a smuggler who used to Kestrel's work with the Shrikes. Kestrel's a bird! And she's good at finding things we need. I'll never trust her. But she may be able to help us with this. Never trust a bird! Kestrel keeps a low profile. But I'm sure you can find her. Ask around the bitter end. Oh, and Wayfinder. Be careful. Kestrel is not one to divulge information for free. All right. Wayfinder. Kestrel. Of course you're talking about. Don't believe anything. I gotta do this again. Always a delight to see a new Wayfinder at the bitter end. What can I do for you? If you're chasing rumors, I'm just the person you need. The tavern's where all rumors come to roost, after all. By reputation. Kestrel was one of the original Shrikes. Today they're rabid bandits, but there was a time when the Shrikes were the heroes of the Highlands, playing Maze and Empire alike for fools. Before the fall, Kestrel was the slipperiest smuggler in the West Reach. I still have a bottle of blood sherry she carried through the maze. Don't tell Wolf. Most think Kestrel died in the fall, but I think she's still making sure people get what they need. But Wolf, little Lord Halar, she tricked them in the past, and they'd never trust her in Skylight. If you're serious about making contact, I'd take a jaunt down the Great Lift and speak with the Warden. They say she and Kestrel are... Acquainted, as it were. Good. So, can I make a sword now, or what? I'm gonna read this. I just, I, I need to make this. Or this. I need to make this one too. How do I, how do I buy the, how, can I, Titan Bane's form, okay, so can I make this? Okay, so I, I can't make this. How do I? Okay, so I, I need to, I need to make this weapon. I don't understand. Like it, it's it's really simple, right? All I want is the weapon. Buy weapons. Why can I buy everything except for the two-handed sword? Okay. Um, I, I'm gonna go to bed. Uh, we'll probably play more of this tomorrow. No, go to the main store. Where's the main store? This here? No, that's not it. Escape store? Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. All right. Um, so, uh, twin sword, same class. Oh, really? So it's like the same moveset and everything? Okay. Um, well, let's talk a little bit about the game. First impressions. 
Like, holy fuck, like, the dialogue just takes forever, and it's, like, such a waste. It's, like, super annoying. It's, like, all, all, like the gameplay is actually... I, I think the gameplay is actually pretty good. I, I, I actually think it's, it's unironically good gameplay. Uh, the world building and graphics are great. Uh, the character design, I think, is also great. I like the way it feels to just move around and jump in the game. That's why I'm always jumping around and doing things like this because it just feels good, it's very responsive. Uh, but I just feel like there's so much dialogue at the beginning, it like kind of fucking, you know, it's like a buzzkill, right? Uh, so like, that's one opinion I have of it. Uh, so far, I mean, obviously like, I, I spent a lot of time in the queue, which was kind of a negative, but um, overall, uh, you know, it was an enjoyable game so far. And um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I would say that I'll probably play it more and, make a decision after that, right? I mean, I don't care about housing items. Uh, like, yeah, I, I probably played the game collectively, like, probably, what, three hours, something like that? You just want to rush play? Well, yeah, I, I want to play the actual game. Do I want to do the dungeons? I want to fight the bosses? Fuck yeah, I do. Yeah, absolutely. A hundred percent. I think also, like, the main cities and everything, uh, like, just the, the detail with, like, just adding all these little things in, like, it probably doesn't matter a lot to many people, but I do think that it does have, like, some degree of, like, value, I guess you could say. And so I, I appreciate it, and I think that it looks really nice. Um, I think the over-reliance on saying gloom is, like, kind of weird, and so hopefully they... that doesn't happen the whole time. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what I think. Does it even matter if nobody's really around? Uh, yeah. Gloomer take? Yeah, true. You know about microtransactions? It's just cosmetics as far as I know. I, I don't know enough about the game to, like, have an opinion on the microtransactions yet. Uh, whenever I play it more, I will... You know, develop an opinion. Uh, apparently there was like a pricing problem with microtransactions, devs addressed it, and it's not an issue anymore, and the people got refunds even, so it's like... Uh, yeah, fuck. Oh, that's pretty fucking good in my opinion. So yeah, that's it. Metro Gloomin, there you go. You can buy the weapons so you don't have to grind them, but you can still get level 1 version, so it's a grind to skip. Uh, I'll try it out and see for myself. Yeah, I just don't know. I'll wait for full release. Too much I'm playing this month? Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. For sure. It's early access, so uh, it, it'll be a while. It's on Steam. I think it'll be ready in six months or I need a year plus. I, I don't know. Like, I've played the game for a bit. Like, the biggest problem this game has is the server. Like, a lot of MMOs are, like, super wordy at the beginning and, like, really annoying. Like, it's not even a special thing about them. But yeah, the, uh, I, I feel like I, I do really notice, like, the attention to detail with, like, these different areas. You know what this kind of reminds me of? It reminds me of Boralus in, uh, in WoW. They put so much work and detail into Boralus. Nobody goes there. Anyway, guys, thank you all very much for watching. Really appreciate it. We will, as always, be back on tomorrow. And we're going to keep going to work. We're going to play some more of this. I might play maybe something else tomorrow, but I think I kind of just want to farm this. And I might consider that Bone Shatter Slayer Bone Zone situation for PoE. Uh, I don't know yet. Yeah, we got a lot to do, man. We got a lot to do. I'm a busy guy playing all these video games. Holy shit. Thank you, guys. I appreciate y'all watching, and uh, I'll be back on tomorrow, and uh, we'll keep going.
So until next time, boys, I won't play anymore tonight. I'll, I'll wait till tomorrow so you all can see the rest of the gameplay. So until next time, gentlemen, peace.